A very good morning to all my lovely students. Hope you all are fit and fine at your home and also going through all the modules that we have learned till now, right? So we are about to finish module 3. Yes? So my dear students, do you remember how far we have reached till now? So in module 3 there are 5 sections, yes? And we have completed till now 3 sections. Yes, that too, a part of a category of noun is left that we will be doing today. So the first section was I listen, yes. Then second was the vocabulary, yes. Third is the grammar portion that we have done in our last two classes where we have learned about singular nouns and plural nouns. So what are the singular nouns now? Singular nouns are the name that we give to only one person. Place, animal or thing. Right? Example, car, pan, tiger. Yes? Now, what are the plural nouns? Plural nouns are the name that we give to more than a person, place, animal or thing. Tigers, cars. Yes? And also we have learned how to convert a singular noun to plural noun. Yes? We have learned that most plural nouns are formed by adding as to it. Yes, and also we have converted the words that end with O, S, X, C, H, S, H, and S, S. Yes, what we do there, we add there E, S, and also we have learned to add V, E, S. Yes, to the words that end with F or F, E. Got it? Yes. So my dear students, today we are going to learn one more category of nouns. Yes, what are they? Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Right? Let's see what is the main objective that we are going to get from this topic. So the main objective is to learn and differentiate the countable and uncountable nouns. Got it? So let's begin our today's class. Okay. First let us learn what are countable and uncountable nouns. So my dear students, as you have heard the word countable, what comes in your mind first? You might be thinking it is related to counting. Yes, you are right. Countable nouns are the names of objects, peoples or things that can be counted using numbers. This means that we can put a number before those objects or people or things. For example, two books, four girls, five glasses, five foxes. Got it, my dear students? Okay. Countable nouns have singular or plural forms. For example, one church, two churches, one tomato, three tomatoes, one bus, three buses. Yes, so countable nouns can be both singular or in plural forms. We use a, an or one before singular countable nouns. For example, a postman, an orange, one chair. Got it? Coming to plural countable nouns, we use words such as any, many, a few, or numbers greater than one before it. For example, I don't have any toys with me. Saraswati has many friends. There are a few oranges left. There are three potatoes on the table. My dear students, countable nouns answer the question, how many? For example, 
How many books? Six books. How many flowers? Five flowers. How many boys? Four boys. I hope you have understood what are countable nouns. Okay, let's see now what are uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are nouns that name the objects that cannot be counted using numbers. This means that we cannot put a number before those objects or things. For example, rice, milk, water. We cannot say, please give me five sugar. Can you say that? I drink one milk every day. Got it? Uncountable nouns do not have plural forms. It means the singular and the plural forms of uncountable nouns remains the same. For example, sand, sand, salt, salt, bread, bread. Got it? We cannot use a, an or numbers before uncountable nouns. To show the quantity of uncountable nouns, we use words such as some, any, a bag of, a lot of, much or less. For example, there is a lot of water in the lake. Roger does not get much time to listen to music nowadays. There isn't any sand in my socks. Got it, my dear students? Okay. My dear students, nouns that name ideas, feelings and qualities that you cannot feel, touch or see are mostly uncountable nouns. For example, happiness, love, sadness, etc. You cannot say one happiness, four love or nine sadness. Yes, can you touch happiness or love or sadness? We can only feel it, right? Okay. So, my dear student, it's time to wrap up now. So, can you recall what we have done in today's class? We have learned about what are countable and uncountable nouns. Right? So, what are countable nouns? Any singular or plural nouns that can be counted in numbers are known as countable nouns. Yes, like I have three books with me. Yes? And what are uncountable nouns now? Uncountable nouns are the nouns that cannot be counted in number. Yes, for example, there is a lot of water in the lake. Yes, got it? Okay, so my dear students, let's wrap up for today. In our next class, we will be doing the two sections that are remaining. That is from the I write section. Got it? Okay, thank you and have a nice day.